Hello, welcome to another episode of Wesley's Electronic Album Picks, where I provide information on electronic food for your ears and eyes. Today, we're exploring an album that's much newer, and it's awesome. It's Watch of the Head by Milieu. It was released on September 26, 2023. The album has 12 tracks and a length of an hour and 11 minutes and 13 seconds. The style is ambient techno, ambient, and brain dance. These are my favorite tracks. Track 5, Polarity Switchboard vs. Time Forest. Track 6, Immanenix. Track 8, Zaftig Lime. Track 11, Nodin's Monolith. Now for the full flavor, put your earbuds or headphones on and enjoy the show. Watch the Head is a very interesting album, and well crafted. Milieu, aka Coppice Halifax, has been on my show many times. This is another one of his uh, many monikers he uses. I love the whole theme going on with this album, like it's a film made in another world with animals or cats with human characteristics. For me, it's nostalgic as most of the cartoons I liked when I was younger had characters like that. The album is very fun, funky, and upbeat, with good energetic vibes. Most of the tracks are quick with nice synths, basses, and complex beats. What I also enjoy about the album is it has a bit of a disco flavor, like track 4, Electric Age Cassipia, track 6, Immanenix, and track 8, Zaftig Lime. Uh, Zaftig Lime was a very cool track, a bit slower than most of the tracks, kind of highlights its funky beats and bass in an interesting way. Some tracks are quite wild as they progress and have glitchy beats like Track 5, Politary Switchboard vs. Time Force, and Track 11, Nodin's Monolith, to name a couple. Other tracks have that sound or feel to them as well. The beats are highly complex, some tracks more or less. A couple beats also have some lovely spring reverbs. The album also has a few chiller tracks and some beatless, one of which is a lovely ambient track called Echo E, which is the last track. Ambience is also presented in a lot of the tracks as a form of beautiful flowing pads and other synths in the background. So there's a lot of exploring in this album. It's very fresh, energetic, funky, and again, the artwork is very cool. The CD is like an old film case thing, and I love object CDs. My favorite track was track 11, Nodin's Monolith. I think for me it was the best example of glitch beats with lovely detuned synths and flowing pads. 
Sounds a bit like some mid-90s Aphex Twin music. It's complex and relaxing and the beats are so good. Now, if you've seen it on Wise's Picks, it's an album to be heard, so I hope you guys check out the full album. If you're a fan of electronic music and enjoyed the episode, smash that subscribe button and a thumbs up. Also hit that bell so you'll be notified when I have my next video out. If you want to support my show, you can find three of our latest releases in the description below. Also check out my Instagram or YouTube channel, Rhubarb Cabin Records, for more music adventures. Thanks for watching, and have an awesome day and night. Cheers.